Hello, my name is Kristina Jurajimska, and today I'm excited to share my story with you. I think one of the most important things in the lives of the entrepreneur, we have to surround ourselves and we always have to be with the people around us who believe in us, who believe not only in us as a human being, but believe in our business idea, what we bring into this world. You always have to surround yourself with the people on the same brainwave. You can surround yourself with the drug dealers, with the drug addicts. You know, time will pass and you will become one of them. On the other hand, you can surround yourself with the people who have high expectations of life, who have big dreams, who is grinding, who is hustling every day of their life to create a better human being from themselves, a better business for them, and they want to scale. Whatever they do, they want to go level up, level up. I was born in a small, impoverished Eastern European country, Belarus. I had the idea that the life is not easy and we have to work hard. We have to work hard and constantly believe in ourselves and not to lose our hope. That was definitely not like stigma, not normal, that parents would uh, actually, like in reality, spend all their money they have that they could have spent on restaurants, on party, on travel, they spent and they invest in their kids. My mom, she is the role model for me to be a really strong female. I was, I remember waking up, uh, it was Friday, and I was telling her, oh, you know what, you have a party today at school and uh, I need to dress something nice. And she's like, okay, I got you. In a couple hours, I'm back from school. She's already have this dress for me. I'm like, oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> If I would be raised in a family where I can just go buy anything I want, maybe I wouldn't have that drive. Maybe I wouldn't have that creativity to get something and create something beautiful. Something that would not only uh, make me look better, but make me look proud of myself, because I did it. There was the period, I think, uh, for about three to four months when I stopped working at the Carnival Cruise Lines and I had to find a job here uh, in US. I always try to see the potential, try to see the opportunities, what exactly I can do, having access to this or having access to this person. I was trying to figure out. And then there was the boom of e-commerce just just starting. Fulfillment by Amazon Prime was just starting and people were talking, oh my God, how amazing it is. We got this stuff within two days, three days. I'm like, you know what? There are people doing it. Why can't I do that? Like, there's, there's nothing impossible. You remember? That was I taught in my childhood. There is nothing impossible. Whatever I want to do, I can do. I don't remember who scores exactly what that. I remember the first sale I made for myself. Uh, it was on eBay. I sold some uh, used pair of my purse or shoes. Something very cheap. But it turned out to be that I sold even for more money than I bought it for. So here... It's, that's where I got the taste deeply. And here is the product by Theramet. 
First of all, everybody should understand no one can ever tell that this is the medical compression hoisery. This is unique. This was something that I designed myself. This is something that I wear on my transatlantic flights. This is something I wear when I know I will be standing all day driving or I will have a lot of pressure on my lower body. The biggest inspiration for Teramat was my grandma. She was the head doctor in one of the biggest clinics in Belarus. She was helping patients 12, 14, 16 hours every single day. She was the one who had been taking care of the shortage of the medical equipment, shortage of the medical supplies, but doing everything she could for her patients. Teramat is my baby. Honestly, it is. This is the first company I launched more than 10 years ago and we're creating the products that are unique. I was traveling a lot, I started to develop varicose veins, I had edema, I had swelling, I had lamp cramps that I could barely fall asleep at night. So trying many things, I realized that the key to keep your health, to keep your legs healthy, to keep your health intact is wearing compression hoisery. I was working hard and I was grinding till I wasn't able even to fall asleep. That's something uh, was, that was very hard for me. I learned through many years while being an online seller. Computer is always gonna be smarter than you are, but computer can never be as wise as a man. What's the difference between smart and wisdom? My view is, as smart people see something the other people don't see. The most important lesson and the most important thing that I think we should all take into consideration is that the life is constantly changing. The business is constantly changing. Whatever worked past years, whatever worked when I was opening my businesses, might not work right now. And it's not working right now. In Amazon space, it's all about trying deep research and understanding what you're doing. Helium 10 is here to help you. They have all the possible tools to understand with the X-ray you do, the generate the product ideas, validate them and see what's good, what's gonna work for your business model. You have all the other tools that tell you how your competitors do, spy on them, get the ideas, what they did, their sales rank, their traffic, how they've been the history of sales. We have all that resources, put in your knowledge, you're not going to be successful right away with the click, but if you will do everything you can, that at the end of the day you will respond to yourself, did I do enough? You'll say yes. From day one, when I started selling on Amazon, I constantly have people approaching me and asking me the same question. Christina, you're doing so good on Amazon. I want to sell on Amazon as well. Listen, I think it's too late. Is it too late? Can I still jump in into the Amazon and make money? It's like, is this good? How it's going to be? I'm so scared. I'm this. When the person coming to me already with the negative mindset and attitude, I say, you know what? Don't even start. If you already put in your mind that, oh my God, I'm scared, it's not going to be successful, this is the negative mindset and nothing good is going to come out after that. It's business. And as every other business, it's not late to start it any single minute. Uh, moving on to my bestie, Christina. How are you? I know you just had a, a small vacation and now you came back and you've been working 24 hours, right? So tell us, uh, how are you? And uh, what does this event represent to you? I want to say a couple words about my best friend, Isabella Hamilton. And she's the only one who can actually understand how hard is to be the female in the male saturated business. We are less than 5% of all the e-commerce sellers. For the females, it's very hard. She supports me and I hope I support her. If you feel that at that place you are right now, it cannot be only the country, it could be in the relationship. If you are in the relationship that you think are not working for you, for your benefit, you don't see yourself, your future. If you're in the country where you don't see your future, 
if you are in the university and let's say this is the last year but you don't see the future of being someone that somebody else decided to you or some circumstances made you be there just fight for something better like try you know uh it's better to try and to fail than not to try and till the rest of your life regret that i had the opportunity to quit right there right that moment i i, I had forces because you know uh, the life is about the choices the life is about the opportunities it always given to us okay you can do this you can do that you can do that just try and believe in yourself that's what is thread throughout my interview i think that believe in yourself the faith the deep faith in yourself that you're successful so you deserve what you think you deserve you can do things that would actually make an impact to the world that's something you have to live every day of your life with